Welcome to this morning mobility and flexibility flow. This class is the full 25 minute class, but if you're ever short on time, I have edited this same class down to a 15 minute version. So if you need it, you have that option as well. But for now, let's get you moving. We'll start down in a cross-legged seated position on our mat, and we will begin with breath of fire. To do this, we inhale through the nose, and then we exhale out the nose in quick, sharp bursts, using the belly to really press the air out. We'll do five total rounds. Inhale, and exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Burst it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Quick exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale. Burst out. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time, inhale. And out. Five, four, three, two, one. And just recover, inhale. Normal exhale. Wonderful. Now come into the middle of your mat on your hands and knees. And from there, we'll go into a modified down dog. So the toes tuck, push into your hands, lift your hips, keep your knees bent, tuck your chin into your chest. Easy down dog since it's the first one of the day. We're starting to warm everything up. Take a big breath. Look forward between your hands. Walk your feet up until they're about a foot from the top of your mat and put them parallel. Bend your knees. Lay your belly on your thighs if you can. Release your head. And then slowly roll up your spine, stacking yourself up piece by piece. Find nice posture and alignment as you stand. One round of Sun Salute A. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, touch your palms. Exhale, send your chest forward as you dive all the way down to a forward fold. Inhale, lift your head, look up, flat back. Exhale, hop or step to plank and lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest, up dog. Exhale, send your hips back to down dog. You're welcome to bend your knees here if you'd like. We'll take three full breaths in down dog, trying to stretch and open up. As you get more warm, see if you can start to stretch the legs, reach the heels towards the floor. Look between your hands, step or hop your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out as you come to standing, touch your palms overhead. Exhale, take your hands to your side. We'll repeat that again. Inhale, arms go up overhead, touch your palms. Exhale, your chest forward, your hips back as you dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, lift your head, look up flat back. Hop or step your feet to plank and lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, pull the hips back, find down dog. Take three breaths here. As you exhale, try to press your chest back closer to your thighs really opening your shoulders. And then also as you warm up, see if you can get more stretch in the legs and lengthen through the back of your knees. Look forward, hop or step the feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift yourself up to flat back and exhale, fold yourself down, forward fold. Arms out to the sides as you flat back up to stand, touch overhead, and then let your arms rest down by your sides. Sun salute B, hips go back and down to chair pose. Lift the arms up. Exhale, chest to thighs, tailbone up to the ceiling, forward fold. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, hop or step to plank, lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, squeezing the shoulder blades, hovering the hips off the mat. Exhale, pull your hips up and back to down dog. To warrior one, turn your left heel in, bend your right leg, step it forward through your hands. Keep the front leg bent as you inhale, lift your arms overhead. Exhale, take your arms back down to the mat. Turn your back foot in, step to plank, lower down through chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, pull your hips back to down dog. We do the same thing with the other foot. Turn the right heel open, bend the left leg, step it up between your hands. Keep the left leg bent. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead, warrior one. 
Exhale, plant your hands. Step to plank. Shift forward to lower down through chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest, squeezing up. And exhale, send the hips back and down, finding down dog. We do three breaths here in down dog, stretching and opening. Really press into your hands to push your chest back towards your thighs, creating a straight, long diagonal through your back. Finishing your last breath. Look forward, hop or step the feet between your hands. Inhale, lift your spine flat back. Exhale, release to a forward fold. Sink your hips back, bend your knees, find chair pose. Your arms sweep overhead, you lengthen your legs to stand, and exhale, take your arms to the sides. Again, hips back and down, sit into your chair. Inhale, lift your arms overhead. Exhale, fold your belly to your legs, and then stretch your tailbone up to the ceiling. Inhale, lift your chest flat back. Exhale to plank, and lower down chaturanga. Inhale, your chest up, up dog. Exhale, push back to down dog. Warrior ones, turn your left heel out and step your right foot between your hands. Keep the front leg bent. Inhale, lift up to warrior one, arms overhead. Exhale, plant your hands and step to plank. Shift so you can lower through your chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. And we do the same thing with the other side. Turn the right heel in, step the left foot up between your hands. Inhale, lift your arms up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat, step to plank, and lower down. Inhale to up dog, and exhale back down dog. Recover and take breaths, big inhales. Full exhales. Look up between your hands, feet hop or step to the front. Inhale to a flat back, exhale release and forward fold. Bend your knees, sit down to chair. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Straighten your legs to stand and exhale, arms to your sides. Moving into a forward fold. Step your feet hip distance apart, hands to your waist. Inhale, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, crease at your hips and fold about halfway down. Then you'll take your first two fingers and wrap them around your big toes. Inhale, lift your chest and look up. Exhale, pull your elbows wide and take your body down towards your legs. Trying to create a crease in the hips, meaning your belly can come towards your legs. This is morning, you might still be a little stiff and a little tight. Be smart about how deep you fold here. You wanna have a stretch, but you don't want any sharp pains. Inhale, lift to a flat back, release your toes, place your hands back onto your waist, and flat back all the way up to standing. We'll work into the shoulder joints. Release your hands down, and you'll lift your arms all the way up, keep rotating the behind you, and then bend your arms behind your back. You'll stretch your arms back out, rotate your shoulders open to lift your arms back overhead. Again, shoulders rotate and open to take the arms and bend them behind your back. Then lengthen them down, rotate your shoulders, lift your arms back overhead. Same thing one more time. Rotate, arms behind your back, stretch down, and then rotate your shoulders to lift your arms up. Isolate your right arm, do a backstroke back behind you and lift it back up. Now the left arm, backstroke with the left arm. Try to keep your shoulders forward, lift it up. Again, right arm goes back, lifts overhead, left arm goes back, lifts overhead. Now do both arms together, sweep the arms back behind you, send the arms forward and then up overhead. And now let your arms just release down to your sides. Let's open up our hips with some hip circles. Take your thumbs and place them on your back hip bones. Draw a circle starting to the left, pushing your hips to the front, to the right, and back behind. Again, left all the way around. And one more, all the way around. We'll switch our circle starting to the right, pushing hips right, front, left, and back. Again, all the way around. One more time circle all the way and then come back to center moving to some crescent lunges step your right foot back coming up onto the ball of your foot your front leg is bent 90 degrees tuck your hips under and lift your arms up overhead keep your gaze looking right in front of you hold it here now you'll sweep your arms down plant them on either side of your front foot Keep your right hand on the mat, your left arm lifts up, try to stack your shoulders on top of each other, taking a twist. You'll look up to your fingertips. The arm goes back down, 
Lift yourself back to your crescent lunge. Sweep the arms overhead. This time, add a little arch through your back, lifting from your rib cage and looking gently back behind you. Shift your weight forward and step your feet together. Switch sides. Step your left leg back. Tuck your hips. Front leg bends 90 degrees. Sweep the arms out and up overhead. Hold it there. For this one, your gaze stays forward. Your arms come down on either side of your foot. This time, lift your right arm up, taking that twist. Release the arm down, lift your chest back up, sweep the arms overhead back to that crescent lunge. Add a little gentle arch lifting from the rib cage, looking back with your eyes. And then shifting your weight forward and stepping your feet together. We'll flow through a vinyasa. Inhale, your arms go out and up, touch your palms together overhead. Exhale, fold forward all the way down to your forward fold, releasing your head and neck at the bottom. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hop or step to plank. Shift your weight. Bend your elbows lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest. Look up, up dog. Exhale, pull your hips back to find down dog. One breath. Inhale. Exhale. At the end of the exhale, bend your knees. Come down onto all fours. You can position yourself into the middle of your mat. Cat and cow. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, curl and round your spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your head and tail up. Exhale, tuck your head and tail, round your back. Inhale to cow. Exhale, curl to cat. And then find a neutral spine. We'll work on stretching the shoulders now. Take your hands up to the top of the mat. Round your back, pulling your rib cage in. Scoot your knees back and then slide your head down until it rests on the mat in between your arms. Keep your arms as straight as possible and turn your armpits and your triceps down to the floor, still trying to round the spine so you get the opening happening in your shoulder joint itself. Tuck your tailbone, roll up through your spine, take your hands back underneath your shoulders. I will turn so that you can see this better. The next exercise, you will extend your right leg out, your toes are forward parallel. Lift your left arm up, twisting from your rib cage, trying to stack your shoulders. Thread your top arm under your bottom arm and lay on the side of your head. Then you'll push into your bent arm to twist and look up to the ceiling, finding a rotation through your back. Lift back, place both hands on the floor, tuck your back toes. You will rock your weight back so you'll sit back on the heel and then rock forward. If you can't sit all the way on the heel, just go back as far as you can. And shift back and then forward. Shift back, forward, reach to try to sit on the heel and come forward. And you'll reach back, you'll sit on the heel, stay there as far back as you can. Walk your hands forward, coming onto your fingertips and then laying your head down on the floor. Stretch here. Lift your head. Come back onto your knee and switch sides. So tuck that right knee in and extend your left leg out, staying parallel. Inhale, lift your right arm up to the ceiling, twisting and threading it down and through to take the twist on the floor. Holding. Come back onto both hands, tuck your back toes and rock your weight back to sit on that heel and come forward. Each time you rock back, see if you can sit a little further back, stretching your inner thigh, opening up your hips. Shift and come forward. Shift back. Stay there. Walk the hands forward, tenting onto your fingertips. Lay your head down. Hold. Lift your head. Back onto all fours, tucking your left leg in. And I will turn again so you can see once again from the side view. Single leg hip circle. Lift your right leg up, keeping your knee bent, and then rotate it out to the side, controlling it nice and slow, and then taking the knee back down towards the floor. It stays lifted the whole time. You're just making a circle. 
going parallel, then rotating the knee out to the side and taking it down, lifting it up, opening the hip to go to the side and closing down. Come on to both knees, walk your hands forward just a bit, slide your right knee up between your hands and you'll sink down trying to get your right hip to sit on the mat and then you'll lift it back up. So pigeon rock down and up. Shift, sit the hip down onto the mat and lift it back up. Sit down, your back leg will bend and you'll sit yourself up nice and tall. And then you're going to try to not use your hands and rotate over to the left. So you're on a pigeon pose on the left side with your left leg forward. And then you'll rock the hip down and up like we just did. Sit and up. Sit on the left hip and come up. Sit down and come up. Then you'll push yourself back onto hands and knees in a tabletop position. And do the hip circle with the left leg. Lifting the left leg parallel opening it out to the side and coming down. Lift up parallel, then the hip opens, it turns out your knee goes to the side and the knee goes down towards the floor. One more circle, up, open, close, coming down onto both knees. Now we'll turn to face the front so that our faces are towards each other. We want the knees to stay on the mat for some extra support. We'll open up into a frog pose, drawing the heels in line with the knees. You can stand your hands or if you want, drop to your elbows and then rock your weight back towards your heels and forward, back and forward. Again, weight shift back and forward and back. And now just lift up onto your hands, rotate your left foot in towards your body and slide your right knee away from your body so you're in a half frog pose. Drop down to your elbows if you can and hold it there. Doing this half frog pose is more accessible. If you ever get to a point where you're really good at this pose, you can feel free to do both legs at the same time and just hold it for longer. Push back up onto your hands, switch sides, take your right foot towards you, slide your left knee further away from you, drop down to the elbows if you can and hold. We are just about finished with this pose. If you're not on your hands, press back up onto your hands and slowly come back onto your shins, the top of your knees, drop your hips over to the right and then to the left. Your head will naturally go the opposite direction as your hips. Return to center, cross your ankles and sit back to sit down. If that's not possible, just make your way to a seated position. Your feet in front of you, your knees bent, Lean back onto your hands, drop your knees over to the right, knees back to the middle, and then let them fall to the left, up and over to the right. I call these windshield wipers. Pretty obvious why they look like the windshield wipers on a car. And to the left. Over to the right, we're going to mix things up a little on this next one. Your back hand stays down, but lift your hips up off the mat, sit your hips down, turn your knees over to the left, same thing, hips go up. They sit down, then you rotate back to the first side. You're using your hand for extra support right now. Rotate to the second side and push up. Now you can do that same thing without your hands to make it a little more difficult. You'll push all the way up over top of your knees, sit, rotate to the other side. If you still need to use your hand, you're welcome to leave your hand on the floor. Lift the hips, sit down, rotate to the other side, hips up and down. Turn your knees back up to the ceiling. Scoot yourself to the middle of your mat. Open your hips. Take your feet into a butterfly. Soles of your feet will touch. Let your hips relax at the top. Grab your ankles and send your chest forward so you sit nice and tall. You'll arch your spine and then exhale, curl the spine. So cat and cow, but in a butterfly. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Pull back. Chest forward. Arch your back. Look up. Exhale, push through your back, round your spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. Return to neutral, sitting tall. Grab your knees with your hands and let your hips rotate in. 
Step your feet out wider apart. Lean back onto your hands. Drop your knees into the midline of your body so you become knock-kneed, stretching the inner rotation of your hip joints. Let's add some movement. Drop your right knee towards the mat more, doing a deeper inward rotation, and then switch and do the left knee. So you're just really trying to get deep inward rotation of one leg at a time and reminding yourself not to force anything and to not put too much strain on the joints themselves. Lift your knees up, cross your ankles, shift your weight forward to come onto your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes under and push back so you're over your toes, shifting your knees off the mat and then drop your knees back down. Shift, they come off. Shift your weight forward, drop the knees down. Shift your weight back and keep going back and try to put the heels on the mat. If this parallel squat isn't working for you today, that's okay. You repeat this class. You'll have lots of time to practice and get it. And we'll shift forward, place the hands down. Open your feet wider. Turn your hips open so your heels turn in, your toes turn out. Sink down to a yogi squat. If you need to lift your heels, that's okay for now. The more you work on this, the easier it'll be to get your heels on the floor. You'll shift over to the left, trying to drop the left knee to the floor and then switch to the right. You can work into this, go a little deeper every time, shifting side to side, then come to the center, hands to your heart if you can and press the knees open with your elbows. If your heels are still lifted, you may not be able to lift your hands up off the mat. You can support yourself with your hands on the floor. Shift your weight forward, turn your hips parallel, and shoot your tailbone up to the ceiling in a forward fold. Grab hold of opposite elbows and gently shift your body over to the right and left. Gentle swing side to side with the upper body, just letting it hang down. Come to center, release your arms. Slowly roll up through your back, stacking your vertebrae up one on top of the other. When you get to standing, make sure you find nice posture, opening the shoulders. Move yourself to the very back of your mat. We'll do frog hops. We'll do three frog hops forward to the top of the mat and three hops backwards towards the back of the mat. Come down into your squat. Reach your arms forward, press into your hands, hop your feet up to your hands. That's two. We have one more, three. And then we reverse going back. Plant your hands, push, hop back with your feet, hands back hop last one and we go forward again three hops forward three two one hop it back three two one one more set up and back going forward one two three and then hop back three two, one. Awesome. Drop down onto your hands and knees and crawl into the middle of the mat. And when we get to the middle of the mat, we'll release out the hips by sending them side to side. Your head will naturally turn the opposite direction. Little twists. And then come back to the center. One more stretch for the thoracic spine and shoulders. Walk your hands up to the top of the mat. I like to actually grab my mat for this and push it away. That helps me to get into the stretch a little better. Arch your spine and then try to lay your chest and your chin down on the mat. If that doesn't happen, totally fine. Just go as deep as you can. Think about trying to pull your head and tail towards each other, almost imagining they could touch. And when you get down, you can release the mat and just leave your palms flat on the floor. It's a bit tricky to breathe in this position, so just do the best that you can. To come out of it, tuck your tailbone round up through your spine and walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. With your hands under your shoulders, cat and cow, inhale, arch the spine, head and tail go up. Exhale, round your spine, tucking your head and tail in. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. Inhale, move into cow. Exhale, round into cat. And then find neutral. However you would like to, make your way into a cross-legged seated position or what is called easy pose. Place your hands on your knees and then take your hands at your heart, bow your head down, and that's it. You're finished for the day. You can revisit this class daily to improve your mobility and your flexibility. 
And as always, it was a joy practicing with you. I hope to see you back here again soon. Let me be your guide for all things flexibility and mobility. Subscribe for more.